Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Everybody, welcome to the IOU, International Open University's UAE Student Committee's first ever event. We are proud to present to you um, Coffee and COVID, How to Find a Balance. So before we get started, I'm going to just do a quick round if everybody can hear me. Um, and if you have any questions during the meeting uh, slash event at all, feel free to use the chat box, which should be available to everybody to use and chat with everybody. So if you have any questions, we have a wonderful team to assist you and they will answer your questions as best as we can. So we do have incoming members and as they come along, um, we'll just catch them up on what's happening. This meeting is recorded. Please note that your microphones and videos are all closed. And as we go along, if you do wish to speak, you can always raise your hand. There's a button to raise your hand as well. And we will have a portion for this discussion later on. So don't worry about um, talking in between any se sessions so far. So um, just to begin, my name is Raham. I am the IOU UAE Student Committee Chairperson. And today I'm here with my wonderful team. I'll introduce everybody in just a second. So let's get started really quickly. First of all, I would like to ask everyone if they, if you guys brought any drinks, do you have any warm beverages or cold beverages? I know we've listed coffee and COVID, but it can be tea and COVID. It can be anything at all. So let's take a minute to just talk about who has what drink with them and who wants to bring what drink with them. So I currently have some sparkling water um, and that's basically it. But what about everybody else? Ooh, we have Karak Chai, Lemonade, Coffee and Sweets. That, wow, that's amazing. I think we have, water is acceptable, don't worry. I know we wrote coffee. I'm so glad to hear everybody has coffee. I'm about to make mine, so huh. water. <laughs> water is special too, underrated. Water and cookies, coffee and pistachio, mmm. Quite a diverse set of coffees, teas, and beverages, as well as food. So how many of us here have tea and how many have coffee? Let's see who wins. This is one of my wonderful team members' idea to check who has tea, who has coffee, and who can win this. Let's see. Who's counting? We got one, two, three, four teas. Three coffees. I'll give it two seconds to see what comes next that can break this tie. Coffee it is. Oh, we're at a tie again. Well then, I guess we equally love teas and coffees in this wonderful community. So welcome. I'm very excited to share with you along with my team this wonderful event. It is our first event, so uh, bear with us here. If we do have any technical difficulties, no worries. Uh, the session is recorded and we will have everything addressed at some point during the meeting. So um let me tell you a bit about our team so far uh the uae student committee team so i'm the chairperson we have selma our vice chairperson hania our secretary Noreen, our assistant secretary ibrar our finance hadia our events and afreen promotion in Mariam it you might know Mariam from our facebook group um and a lot of the time you will see our events, um, a combination of everybody's skill set. So you'll have two people from our team doing completely separate activities that are not in their roles, but they're so talented at it that we just use them for that. Um, we have some members doing presentations, some members doing planning, some members doing the speaking. So we're grateful to have such a talented set of team members. Um, if you take a quick look, all these members are here today to assist everybody during this event. We will all, most of us taking turns speaking as well. So feel free to ask us any questions and share any you know, thoughts or whatever you think is going on. Um, you might be an, an international open university student or you may be 
a interested student or someone out of the ordinary. If you are, no worries. Welcome to all and the chat is always open. So whenever you have questions about how it's like being a student or any questions along those lines, um, feel free to use the chat and we shall address your concerns as students of IOU. So really quickly before we move on to our next slide, um, if you are an IU student, what degree are you doing or certification? Put it in the chat. We would love to hear from everybody. Um, I myself am doing a bachelor's of psychology. I'm currently in my second year. I'm also studying environmental science from another university as well. So Alfia says, bachelor's in Islamic studies, amazing. Uh, more BIS students. Certificate in psychology students as well. Oh, and psychology students as well. So we've got pretty much most of our chunk are Islamic studies students. That's amazing. I think we can all share um, a good chunk of information about each of those. And mashallah, our skill sets are always going to be that great. Amazing. Awesome. Great to hear everybody's opinion so far and what you guys are doing. Um, Again, the chat is our place to be. I know not all of us can use the microphone, so go ahead and use a chat whenever you feel like you don't want to share a point of view or a question. All right, let's get started. So let's start off with a hadith from the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Seeking knowledge is a compulsion on every Muslim. I'm sure you've heard this somewhere, and I'm sure you've also heard that we're never going to have all knowledge in the world as humans. And that's very true, right? We can only handle so much, but it never hurts to grow our knowledge and grow ourselves. And it also applies to having a growth mindset, being always open to new ideas and new techniques and uh, modern ways and stuff like that. So I think you guys being here today is a step forward in that. And I hope that you will join us for the whole event and our future events, inshallah. So I know most of you are curious who are not IOU students, um, or if you are, just kind of the mission of IOU and what they do. So the International Open University aims to grant global access to quality level education programs for students at virtually no cost. Its mission is to change the Muslim nation and the world situation through appropriate education. So you will notice um, that we have the IOU website listed here and we will share the link in the chat as well so you guys can always check out what uh, programs and what other missions and other things are available for you to see. Here are some of the majors and programs provided by IOU. Um, they're always changing. There's always a new certificate program out there. And they recently had a new one. I was just like, wow, this is such a, you know, a progressive university, always ready to take on new topics and subjects. So we have a lot of Arabic, we have Islamic, Quran, uh, business admin, Islamic studies, dual programs. Um, and you will notice there's a lot of bachelor associate certificates. You can choose whichever one you want. And um, what is also there is that um, most of the programs, so if you are based in the UAE, the price point will differ from if you're not based in the UAE. So every country has a different price point. Um, so if you're curious to know what your price point is for any of these programs, any of these um, degree levels, go ahead to the website and check it out because it's very, it's a very straightforward website too, so you shouldn't worry too much about that. Um, so yeah, keep updated with IOU's programs and, and new majors and you know updated majors at the website. I will now hand over the microphone to Hania, who's going to be interviewing our guest speaker, Ramla. Jazakallah, Sister Reham. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. This is Hania. I would like to welcome our special guest, she has completed her master's degree from the International Open University and will be sharing her journey and experience with us today, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum, Sister Ramla. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. First of all, I would like to thank, um, thank you, Sister Hania, Sister Rehan, the, and the entire student committee for giving me the opportunity to talk about my journey with IOU. I really feel privileged and honored to be part of this beautiful gathering. Over to you, Anya. Uh, um, could you please introduce yourself to us? Yes, sure. My name is Ramla Farooqi. I'm a full-time housewife and a proud mother of two beautiful girls. I did my graduate.
graduation in Islamic and Arabic from the Punjab University of Pakistan. And I did my post-graduation uh, from the International Open University. And currently I'm studying in the Quran Memorization Center here in Abu Dhabi. Over to Hania. MashaAllah, that's great. So you completed your master's from IOU. How would you say was your experience studying at this university? Uh, well, Hania, yes, my experience with IOU was excellent and I really enjoyed studying with this virtual university. Uh, my journey with IOU began in 2015 when I started my spring 2015, uh, 2015 semester um, and started my master's degree. My sister um, introduced me to this university. She must be listening here. She must be uh, I mean, listening to me right now. Uh, but, you know, to be honest, I was skeptical as I never studied in an online university before. But um, the uh, system, I found out it was very good. The curriculum was very engaging and it was very well structured. The teaching staff was very supportive. I had the amazing teachers and my tutorial assistants, they've been wonderful. I mean, I had been emailing them and you know, they, <clears throat> they responded to my emails promptly. I would uh, name, uh, I would specially mention uh, Dr. Anwar Sahab, uh, who taught me a couple of courses and Mr. Muhammad Ashraf and especially my, <coughs> excuse me, my thesis supervisor, Dr. Francisca. They've been amazing and I really loved uh, studying with them. Yes, Anya. That's great to hear, alhamdulillah. Okay, so I know that you have experience in both the traditional and online modes of education. What do you think are the benefits of online learning as compared to the regular or traditional methods? Well, I personally feel that uh, studying via online platforms do have benefits. I mean, we had the freedom to study from anywhere. The learning is flexible and we can study at our own pace. You know, uh, we don't have any problems. The studies don't get disrupted if we move from one place to another. And the main thing, Hanya, I noticed that since I had the experience of studying virtually, I, I mean, I had no issues with this, uh, assisting my children in their distance learning during this latest uh, COVID-19 pandemic. So that really helped me. Yes. Okay, that, uh, you're right, absolutely. And I feel like um, flexibility is the biggest advantage of online learning because uh, no matter what obstacles come in your life, you will be able to complete your course no matter what. Um, yeah, sure. And especially we being uh, as mother and housewives, you know, we, um, we found it easily manageable and it's exciting as well. You know, you have some time off and you, you can do with your family. It, it's yeah. really interesting. I mean, uh, it's You're really absolutely right. Yeah. Um, okay. So why do you think anyone should opt for online learning or more specifically choose to study at IOU? Uh, well, nowadays everything is online, you know, so it's a bit challenging to differentiate much at this point, but I think we can manage our daily routine. And we as housewife, as I said before, we can spend more time with the family as well while studying online. And as far as IOU is concerned, I would say that it is the best online university that offers a wide range of courses, uh, especially in the field of Islamic sciences. And they had exam centers all around the globe, so you have no problem. They have excellent systems. And one thing I would like to mention is that the university administration is really supportive and very understanding. I mean, they accommodate every issue you may have. And uh, I mean, they are very supportive. They have excellent help desk team, everything. And um, let me tell you, I, when I initially started my degree, I was in Australia. And then we moved to UAE, so I had to change my address. My, uh, I had to choose new exam centers and all. But there were no problems at all. And once while I was in UAE, I, I had to travel to Pakistan during the exam season. So I had to temporarily change my exam center as well. That was easily done. So there were no problems at all. So basically, I took exams in three different countries during my degree. And I did it all, and there was no problem. So I think uh, it's it's the good thing about IOU, I must say. Wow, mashallah, that's amazing. Those are a lot of reasons to join IOU, mashallah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so now lastly, I would ask you to give some advice to students who are um, like planning to join IOU or are new students. Uh, advice, okay, yes. I would say that uh, don't feel that you are missing out on anything. I mean, the whole world is now moving towards online learning due to this COVID-19 pandemic. And that's the main uh, reason, that's the main topic of our meeting today as well. So, and IOU has already established uh, systems in this virtual learning environment way before this pandemic is new, but you know, they have been set up things and the way they have organized, 
the courses, the diplomas and degree programs, that's, that's amazing, that's outstanding. And the faculty is experienced as well in introducing, I mean, in using online methods. They have excellent support system. I would say, I mean, they help students whenever they have any problems. And despite all this, they, uh, I mean, it's, this university is cost effective as well. So that's, uh, that would be the main advice. So don't feel that you are out of something. I mean, you just come forward and be a part of IUU family, I would say. Okay. Yes, Thank you so much. That's really good advice. Um, and with this, we'll end the interview. Jazakallah khair, sister Amla, for joining us today and for sharing such valuable information. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to you too and your team for having me over and making me part of this beautiful gathering. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now over to you, Sister Afreen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, I'm so glad to be given this opportunity. First off, alhamdulillah to Allah for this beautiful opportunity. And um, of course, as clearly portrayed on the PowerPoint, my topic that I'm going to speak about right now is after hearing Sister Ramla share her beautiful experience with us, why is it important to find a balance in Islam? Because as we all know, our main purpose over here in this world is to obey Allah. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, we have to find balance. And I'm inshallah, what I'm planning to do with the few time, like the little time that I'm given is to just enlighten you on why it is important, inshallah. And I'm, I'm gonna do this in two approaches, inshallah. So first is by quoting the ayah of Surah Al-Baqarah, in which Allah tells us, thus we have made you a justly balanced community that you will be witness over the people and the messenger will be witness over you. Uh, and this is ayah number 143. And the words used over here for justly balanced community is ummatun wasat. And subhanallah, when you go deeply into the tafsir of this, it's like, you know, you understand that you need to be in the middle. You need to find a balance to not try to go to the extremes of anything, any virtue, anything that you're doing, which includes life, you know, uh, just work, balance. And like Sister Ramla had mentioned, uh, being women who have multiple, who are given multiple roles, roles by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as even daughters, as mothers, as, um, as wives, and inshallah, as students of knowledge, we need to balance all of this. And subhanAllah, even men, um, and yes, exactly, Sister Hasna, it does come in the middle of the verse. And subhanAllah, that is just so miraculous and telling us, you know, how it is so important to maintain balance in our life. And um, the scholars have explained this by saying, you know, every virtue has two extremes. Example, taking generosity, it comes in the middle of miserliness and extravagance. And I feel like studying with a university like IOU gives you the perfect opportunity to find that balance because you're not only missing out on, um, you know, university life. Oh, well, or, uh, oh, well, yes. Yes. yes, you're not only finding the balance to, um, you know, able to study online and pursue and be always a student of knowledge, uh, keeping in mind our hadith, we are also fulfilling the roles given to us by Allah. And same goes for brothers. Please don't feel like I'm leaving you guys out. And subhanAllah, um, and also reminding you that we always need to balance our dunya and akhirah. You know, no matter what is it that task that's given to you, uh, that is given to you, um, you have to try to include your akhirah into it. Inshallah, now one more ayah that I felt was really important to quote here was, the Surah Qasas, ayah number 77, seek your homes of hereafter, that which Allah has given you, from that which Allah has given you, but do not forget that share of the world. Mm -hmm. So it is so important for us to balance both of this. And now the other approach that I wanted to go for this is very interesting because this is my favorite way of relating back to Allah is by looking around you, you know, the ayahs and signs around you. Because Allah has mentioned in the Quran so many contrasts that balance each other out so perfectly, like the day and the night, you know, subhanAllah. Um, the day perfect is perfect for working, you know, going out there and, um, completing your work and the night comes where you have to rest 
you have to you know let yourself go and just um, connect over and and with resting you know subhanallah so and other things even the colors are so perfectly balanced and i just realized you know subhanallah everything in this world is already perfectly balanced for us you know like the color of the flowers if it's a white flower it has a green leaf to balance it out so the day and the night perfectly balanced the earth on its axis perfectly balanced the earth on its orbit perfectly balanced subhanallah so uh when you have the, like everything in our life is so perfectly balanced that all we need to do as creations of allah is to that find our balance in our life and try to maintain the other balances that Allah has put in our life, like our body, you know, not to go too excessive by eating too much, but to not starve yourself either, right? Um, try to do it the sunnah way, subhanAllah. So I would like to conclude my little, little talk, <laughs> um, inshallah, by reminding myself first, then each one of you that renew your intentions. Um, and no matter what it is, do it for the sake of Allah, yeah, and keep trying, keep, keep trying and striving, because in the end, Allah looks at your heart, that is, this effort and the struggle that you are going through to try to keep that balance, subhanAllah, so um, I hope this gives you a perspective on how it is for in Islam to make, how important it is in Islam, by the way, this is just a minimized version go ahead read a lot about it there's so much online about this and how um how you know keep studying and how knowledge helps you to maintain this balance so inshallah with this i conclude and handing over the mic to sister salma Just to pop in before Sister Salma speaks, inshallah, I just want to say, um, those of you that are joining, assalamu alaikum. Um, this is, it's a pleasure that you all are here today. So amazing job, Sister Afreen, Hania, Ramla, Zakala Khair, for such beautiful insights about finding a balance. Um, it's so important to have that concept in mind and connect it spiritually and our daily lives. So mashallah, for those of you that are coming in, I'm Raham, so letting you guys know. Uh, the chairperson for the UAE student committee because my name is not showing up so I'm going to just remind you all but I'm going to pass over the mic sister Salma inshallah let's continue our session thank you for coming assalamu alaikum everyone hope you're doing well and keeping safe thank you sister Afreen for the amazing uh, beautiful advice so some of us will be speaking about how we balance between studying and uh, various other aspects or activities so first off i will be sharing my experience of how i balance between studying and also managing a family with two young kids uh, so i usually make a to-do list for the day which i try to complete and I also create a study schedule so that I'm well prepared before assignments and exams. Uh, also, I, uh, as I have two daughters, usually the younger one, she went, when I put her to sleep, I usually study with my elder one because she does the online learning as well. So then that way I can like use up my time as well. Also, mashallah, I have the hus uh, support of my husband as well. So alhamdulillah, it's good. So, uh, who wants to share the experience next? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Hadia. Alhamdulillah, I'm a student, a daughter, wife, and a mother. Currently completing the IAS degree and certificate course in education. Now, let's dive right into the topic. My topic is importance of study plan. Everyone has plans, be it for outings or a general plan in day-to-day -day life on what we are going to cook, what time we'll wake up. But do we actually have a formal plan? I never had. That's why I lost much of time, energy, and productivity. When we have a plan, so what, what's the alternative? So what happens when we have a plan? When we have a plan, we get to actually know how much time we are spending on each task. We will be able to assess ourselves where we succeeded and failed. We will be able to compromise certain tasks or change the timings. 
When it comes to studies, we might ace certain subjects while need help and time in others. Sometimes we don't know certain subjects. We never had exposure to it. So having a study plan helps us to know our own strengths and weaknesses. It doesn't really matter what task, whether it's studies, extracurricular activities, cooking, leisure, whatever. Be. Always have a plan. Maybe we don't jot it down, but strictly following mindfully helps us from wasting time, being lethargic and procrastinating. Now, let me conclude with Edouard, short Edouard. May Allah help us with our productive plans in life, which will help us in our akhirah. Amin. I mean, um, mashallah, I, I really, this is such an insightful um, discussion, number one, but also hearing everybody else's like, you know, unique and personal experiences is just, it's just really amazing to, to um, get to experience that um, as a group today, alhamdulillah, during this event. So for those of you that are interested, this is a discussion, like Salma has mentioned, feel free to Talk about your balance with whatever it is in your life that you would like to balance or you are already balancing. Uh, you can share your ideas on chat and one of our team members can read it for us. I think um, Hala wants to go next, Sister Hala. Um, feel free to use the mic. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm Hala Wazi from Pakistan and I'm joining you guys from. Uh, here so uh, I had been a student of uh, IOU from I guess uh, six years from last six years and uh, I started my BS in economics uh, from um, uh, International Islamic University Islamabad and then I got to know about IOU from a friend and I got admission in BAIS so uh, I had been balancing my online studies and on-campus studies since then. Uh, I had completed my BS uh, from uh, IIU and continuing uh, BAIS from IOU. But uh, it's been in an easy journey, I must say. Uh, I have managed both my on-campus and virtual exams, and IOU has always supported me. Like. <clears throat> they have uh, granted me the late exam periods and uh, everything. So um, currently I'm doing an MPhil and a BA in Islamic Studies. So I really want to thank IOU for being so supportive. Like I had some seminars and uh, things at my campus and IOU has always, you know, supported me. So thank you. MashaAllah, um, it is absolutely wonderful to hear so much in such little time, SubhanAllah. Um, who would like to go next, inshallah? Anything, you can talk about your balance, whatever you're, what's going on in your life, inshallah. So, okay, meanwhile, everyone's sharing their thoughts on chat or mic. Um, I'll go next. So those of you that came in, I'm Reham, and I'm the chairperson of the UAE Student Committee. Um, just some background, we did initiate this student committee in the summer, so we're now fully on board, and inshallah, you should be seeing a lot of events from our side soon enough. I know most of you guys joined because of our wonderful flyer design, which is actually by Sister Afreen, who just shared some really insightful um, insightful conversation earlier. So Zakala, Sister Afreen, for the amazing flyer. Um, so most of the time, I a lot of the time I get asked, actually, I've been an online learner for as long as I can remember. I've not gone to a brick and mortar campus um, or school for a while. And I've done online school um, from middle to high school. And then I started doing online university even before COVID-19, which is kind of crazy. I know people are, are more used to hearing about online learning for university students after COVID-19, but I've been one for a lot before COVID-19 started up. Um, I'm doing, I'm doing two bachelor's degrees, one in environmental science and one in psychology, which is from IOU. And I am, well, I have a lot of responsibilities, right? Um, and being the chairperson, one of them, but I've always loved to be 
within a community in some way. I think it's so important for universities to have groups or some sort of like ways where students can engage with one another. And I think IOU being you know, a virtual school, they didn't have to do this, but they did. And they started this com committee organization and they did it for all the countries that um, IU students are from. And if you're based in a country that's not UAE, I most certainly can tell you, you must have a student committee in your region as well. And it's just beautiful to see that we can connect even virtually and it's okay. It's still a version of social connection, social, social interaction. And right now what you see here today is after weeks, weeks worth of, or months worth of planning from the IOU UAE team. And mashallah, we've met, never met in person. We've only met um, through Zoom and subhanAllah how we decided to do this amazing event together. And we can just see how far it's taken us already, mashallah. Um, but I do get asked about, you know, how I manage two bachelor's degrees as well as teaching my younger brothers. I do teach them their English curriculum for, you know, homeschooling and, and stuff. And then I schedule stuff for my whole, my whole list of siblings. Um, they're not good at that. But just like Sister Hadia said, actually, study plans are so important. I think organization is so important. Um, and following the routine listed out to us from um, our religion itself, like, waking up at Fajr and sleeping like after Isha, like that kind of cycle, you'll see your life just kind of revolves around that beauty of prayer and sleep and a good amount of rest. And subhanAllah, now if you notice, science is evolving and they're all talking about how great it is to wake up before sunrise. And we've been doing it for thousands of years. So it's just beautiful to see that. And I think it's a journey. So balancing anything is all, always going to be a journey. It's never going to be um, a once in a lifetime, you've got it and that's it. No, you, you, you have to keep growing. Like I said earlier in the session, it's very crucial to do that. And as a person studying a lot and doing a lot of house stuff and, you know, doing here and doing kind of things, organization is key. Planning is going to be your go-to. So if you're someone's like, oh, I actually don't tend to plan, I think we should look into it. There's so many YouTube videos out there, so much to learn. And I think we should do it for our next session, maybe like all about planning. Um, but anything from charts to random scribbles of to-do lists, they will all help you gain some stabilization, right? You gain stability in your life. Um, and subhanAllah, people have shared being parents, uh, being mothers, um, to their kids and studying and doing all the housework that's that's i mean that's superwoman to me so masha kudos to all the moms in our session today kudos to all the people that are trying to study amidst all what's going on in the world give yourself a pat on the back you deserve to be understood and appreciated um so yes let us see if we have any people um, from today's event wanting to speak about their experiences and how they do things. Mine was pretty simple. It's just organization. It's just planning. It's just, you know, balancing your routine. And that's also a very big one. Routine is going to be your best friend. So the more you have a routine, the better it's going to be for you. And I'm still working on that. So we're all, I think, in a journey to better ourselves in some way. So who would like to go next? Um, oh, we have Brother Ibrar from our team. So go ahead. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, everyone. I hope you are all doing good. So uh, here I want to uh, emphasize on uh, something uh, which we need to consider uh, because of these difficult times, you know, uh, the COVID times, tough times. We have to remember those who are uh, affected by uh, the COVID uh, financially, education-wise or health-wise. So we need to do uh, something for them and uh, we need to uh, remember them. So in this regard, uh, we have some registered charities here in the UAE and uh, which are helping these kind of people. Uh, so I would like all of you to consider them as well. And I'll send the links through uh, in the main group. So uh, <clears throat> uh, anyone who has resources who can help them out because uh, uh, 
uh, charity is something you know uh, no wealth uh, of a servant of allah is decreased because of the charity so uh, and uh, it's being said in islam that the upper hand is better than the lower hand and the upper hand is that of the giver and the lower hand is that of the beggar so uh, inshallah i'm looking forward to all of uh, you people to help them out so we can be of help uh, to someone in these difficult times thank you mashallah jazakallah khair brother ibra for sharing with us um your research on charities i really appreciate your work here so like brother ibra said there are several several government approved um, charities available that could help someone, maybe even one person in need. I think it's just, it's really, really worth trying. So you will notice um, the links are in the chat. Please do check them out, um, share them with friends, try to find ways to help someone. And as much as we like to find balance in our lives and we have the ability to do so, there must be so many people out there that just need that stability and balance from what you can give them. Imagine being a person that could help them find their balance in life um, and find some stability. So I think it's really, really worth a shot. And I myself will look into them as well. So please do give it a go. And if you do end up donating, send us a snapshot of what you um, what you give and whatever your what you submitted um, to our student committee group. So for those of you that are based in the UAE, um, if you're not in our WhatsApp group chat, put a you know a smiley face on uh, in the the zoom chat and we'll definitely add you inshallah when we get the chance um those of you that are based in other countries thank you so much for your attendance today but for those of you that are you know uae students and um are in the uae right now and are not in the uae student committee group chat we will take your number later on if you can send it to us privately we can take that and add you to that. But Zakal al Khair was sharing about the charities, Brother Bra once again, um, Sister Selma for talking about the discussion, um, Hadia, um, Sister Afreen for bringing up such a beautiful discussion question, Sister Hania and Romla for the interview and um, you know the, the beautiful you know sharing of experiences. We really, really appreciate what you have taken and done for us today at our event. We will now, let us go to the next slide, open up for any questions you may have to us IOU students or any general questions you have to us as online learners like you. Um, feel free to share that with us in the chat or on mic. We'll give you a solid five to seven minutes to just share away and ask questions. And we're all here to assist you, inshallah. Of course, and this event is of many, so please stay tuned to our um, Facebook group, uh, Facebook page, sorry, that we have. Um, we'll be posting our events there as well. You can RSVP there. Uh, we'll also be sharing our events through wherever you found our link from today. So if you're all on WhatsApp, then don't fret. We'll be sharing all the event links that we end up doing in the future there as well. Um, for those of you that have questions regarding IOU and its accreditations, I would urge you to check out the website. We'll have one of our wonderful team members uh, put on um, the chat, the IOU website. And if you kind of search around, dig in there, you'll find a lot of different answers to that question. You'll additionally find a lot of email addresses you can email your question to, which will give you a better answer, um, inshallah, to your questions than we could do um, at all. So thank you for that question. Um, yes, yeah, so those of you that are interested in the UAE only student committee, WhatsApp group, I will be sharing. Please stay further in this meeting towards the end, and I'll share with you the link. Sister 
Shana, I think, is asking if you can change the WhatsApp to Telegram. Unfortunately, it's not in my hands right now. Um, it's just on WhatsApp. So we just prefer WhatsApp right now, inshallah. And yeah, so any questions regarding um, your degree and if you can apply for jobs, I would really urge you to contact the email address on the website. They, thank you, Sister Mariam put in the chat. They can assist you further with more detailed responses to that. Um, one more thing though is psychology is a very step-by-step -step kind of um, application, I would say. It's not something you just do a bachelor's and get a job out of. There's a lot of, there's a whole process to it if you research more on that. From what I've learned, you have to do a master's and a PhD. So, you know, take a look into that as well, inshallah. So as we're closing off, does anybody have anything else they would like to add from our discussion? Or if you have any more questions regarding this committee, um, anything of that sort, please let us know and we would be happy to help you out. Of course, we are really, really happy that you could attend today. Um, alhamdulillah, it's, it's been a pleasure. Jazakallah khair for coming. Um, let's give a warm applause to all our team members for contributing to this event session, the PowerPoint, the planning and everything. So I'm gonna give a round of applause. You're more than welcome to open your mic and clap with me. We're going to give like a minute of just clapping for everybody, inshallah. All right. Thank you so much. Um, dates of admission also on the website. I think I just saw that for the fall, it's 29th of September. So I'll look into it really quickly if I were you. So yes, um, Sihau is looking into IOU, definitely. And as you can see, there are so many ways to connect as students and the support is definitely, definitely there, alhamdulillah. And I'm so, so glad um, that IOU is so quick to give us the opportunity to not only do events like these, but also, you know, deadlines. They really, really helped us out with that. So I definitely think if you're someone looking into it, this is a great, this event should have been your go-to green set go. And inshallah, we hope to see you in our next event. Um, I think we're thinking of Wednesday this week. So keep a lookout on our WhatsApp and our Facebook for that. And yes, kudos to the whole team. Kudos to all our audience today. Thank you so much for coming. Um, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. Enjoy your hot beverages or cold or water. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum. No problem, it was a pleasure. Those of you that are UAE uh, based, please stay um, after everybody is closing off and I will help you with the WhatsApp group, inshallah.